Hello, ladies and gentlemen, LMG here. Welcome to a look at the First Descended. Now, this is a third-party looter shooter by uh, Nexcom Games, who have been noted for being a little greedy at times, and we'll get into the cash shop as well, but I'm going to run you on some missions first. I think we just need to go to our... Yeah, let's go back to Kingston. I haven't played this for a couple hours. A bit of dodge, because I know on Xbox, their servers were off for a while, uh, so they didn't get to play right away. Uh, how did it come to come various issues even launching the game? It does have a very very heavy uh, Third party selling your data kind of contract you kind of have to get into uh, You have to agree to let them have harvest all your information, which I'm pretty sure they said they're gonna sell it too uh, But yeah, that's a little bit interesting. Uh, we were going over here. I think we were going. Yes. Okay. So let's go there I've actually enjoyed it quite a bit So this, I do kind of feel like this is a little bit of a mindless looter shooter. That's never bad. That's never bad. There's a plot and there's a story. I don't know if I could really tell you that. Just have a grappling hook though, which is fun. All right. That's how I always open boxes. I don't know about you. And it does kind of just automatically pull you into crafting upgrades, other systems, pawn systems, you know, the free to play model. And you kind of already lose it because, like, yeah, well, I have mastery rank up. Okay. Um, yes. Down. <laughs> Two more to go. Keep up the good work. So I'm, I'm doing good work. All right. Rank up a villageable. All right. You attach high voltage fuses to parallel circuits. I have no idea what you're talking about, lady. Ah, I think I remember that. Yeah, maybe we rank that up somewhere else. All uh, right, I'm about level six here. I'm actually getting XP just hanging around. Is that all right? And you can have three up to three different gun slots. It looks like as well. And they have other uh, characters you will get along the way. We have other components, modules, slots. Uh, caliber is the currency of the game. We'll get into that in a while. This is probably a sub-currency. The, the, the point they have with so many currencies in this game is to try to confuse you on value of everything. That's one of the kind of the primary things I think they do. Uh, but alright, we'll get into a catch up on that stuff later though. I think I automatically got pulled into a mission. Alright. Especially she's got some ice magic powers. Various other things. You won't remember all the names of that. You're down as well. All right. I think he's got the bomb. All right. It is kind of a fast-paced looter, but I do like that. Hey, okay, challenge complete. Oh, shinies. Hey, master rank up. Game doesn't explain a lot of this or anything to you, really. I think I had some bug on launch because there was a lot of it. Oh, oh, sleeves are more here. Hey, mission complete. Okay, so we got things, and more guns, more other things. Season level up, and we'll talk about the season pass as well, which I kind of thought when I looked at season pass, it was a little bit underwhelming. Uh, but we'll see. I do know one of these, these games do have to make money. Now, where's my purple? You actually get that, uh... Because you gotta get that sub-quest to get a uh, bunny as a character. But we have to do the main mission first, so let's go along and do that.
Well, well now uh, after launch day though, it is actually running pretty well. I finally got it to right settings. It said I didn't have a lot of memory and memory and you know, my PC is pretty high end. It said I didn't have enough to run this, even on lower settings. And I'm like, that doesn't really make any sense. All right, so let's run a proper mission. Oh, uh, let's do sure. I think you can do private or public as well. But there's 150,000 currently on Steam as well. Yeah, the mixed reviews. Bit of a mixed bag because on launch day you want to wait. Fast, it handles pretty well. My only guess is that this place is somehow connected to the iron heart. I know once I have the data. Give him up a little bit. Hey, there we go. Get all the shiny stuff. Get so many things. Yeah, you don't know what any of it means. This have crossplay between Xbox and PlayStation seems pretty seamless as well. Magisters would have already done it. Until recently, it would have been impossible for the body to survive. That's where if you need more ammo, but you seem to have pretty much insane amounts. Then it will have been achievable. By applying algorithms from the Iron Heart to military applications, electronic warfare capabilities can be greatly improved. Yeah, you have no idea what's going on the story wise because it's just going so fast anyway. That's probably for the best though. Oh yeah, a little bit of servers are probably buckling, but Hey, level seven, shiny things. Okay, alright. Got you. More shiny. Pick up all of these things. Can I respawn, maybe? Alright. Oh, that actually teleports you. Somebody's already starting the fight. I'll teleport you in there. Okay. Because obviously in probably party, somebody's just running ahead. Like a bad man. Oh yeah, the, the server on this jank is a little rough. Yes, yeah, just all of a sudden you're right over there. I mean, I got pretty great internet. I think it's the servers are having. Another mastery rank up. Do you know what it means? No, not really. It's all right. This terminal also does not contain the ancestors' data. However, descendant, I think the transmission of the ancestors' data is somewhere close by. That is not likely where the end. Oh, enjoy that one. Are the enemy still rotating? Having a shield. Okay, yep, you're dead. I do like the missions, they are very fast. Graphically, yeah, this is pretty nice. 
It's nice to see they got some of the launch woes a little bit. Okay, mission complete. Okay, now we can increase our mastery at the... It's already gone, and there's just so much. Okay, so we're done. All right. Let's go move. Back to Albion. It's kind of like your Destiny 2 hub, I would say. Or are we going back to Kings? I think we're going back to Albion, though. There's just a lot of missions are quick, 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 in and out. If you really want to try to catch in the story, I... I would look it up. We have something in the mailbox? A oh, compensation. Alright. Made in this conversation. More things. And then we'll get into the microtransactions. Pay to convenience. Pay to win. The, yeah, I, w I would say yeah. I mean pay to... They will sell you anything. Alright, but we get actually shard gains up for three days. Gold gains up for three days. Ah, that's a nice little thing on launch. I do like that. But yeah, let's address the elephant in the room, though. XP gain for three. Ah, it's not bad for free. Ah, uh, because, yeah, let's go up to... I don't think I can... I think I've got to go see somebody for that. Ah, uh, but first up, yeah, let's go to the shop. Because that's probably what we're going to want to know about. And do you have to, at some point, to progress faster? Yeah, you're going to probably... And if you're enjoying a game, I'm, I'm always for it. If you want to spend a little bit... Uh, give back. I mean, if it's free to play. But let's also check out how much that is. That's actually. This is kind of weird because this one actually gets more expensive because it's usually like 100 uh, tokens or whatever is a dollar. Now, 500 is $10. So that has gone up a bit. So if you want 1,000, it's about $20. And if like one of these characters you want to get or like get an outfit, it's about 20 bucks. It's a little bit on the expensive side. So yeah, let's see. They sell so many things. Uh, real support packages. They get a little bit of a boost up on somebody that's not, you know, paying as well. And also you can get tickets for characters as well. I think you can acquire them later or you can acquire them now. Uh, so they're selling just... Yeah, it is easy convenience. You can get this eventually. I don't know how much you have to play through to get it. I mean, it's all stuff you can get. Also, we can go to the Battle Pass. I think I had to get something for free. Oh, yeah, we can get 500 bucks. So that's about, what, 10, uh, 500 tokens? That's $10. Or you could get the upgrade and you get 25 levels. And that's about, wow, that's about $25. Oof, okay. Pricey. Okay, so I get Precision Phase Exchanger. I have no idea what that does. Enhancement Material. Okay. So I can fuse weapons together. Now that I feel like this is kind of rushing through a lot of it. It would be nice, you know, to not get kind of boggled down. In these Some of these games have so much. I think Genshin Impact had that too, where they just throw you up plenty of stuff but like going through this um i didn't see anything there's some emotes some various skins you do get a little bit of the coinage but it's not a lot 25 yeah it's not a lot enhancement materials things like this different colors the emotes, and then about it, you get stuff free every once in a while, but and weirdly enough, this doesn't go up to 100, it goes up to like 96. You get a little flare, as it were. Red, get a red card. I didn't think that was slightly hilarious. Gun skins look decent. Everything in this game is it plays and feels pretty decent. To give a caveat for that. And also one thing to note, it does have two anti-cheats. Regular, easy anti-cheat, and then they have another one as well. Uh, so it is probably going to be a little more intensive than some games. 
running that. It stops at 96. Which, after look at the weapon, it seems like that's, uh... I can't show details of this. But... Ah, I don't really feel it. Oh, but this is the preseason battle pass. Not to be confused with the regular season. Okay, we're already selling it in the preseason. Got it. What is that one? So we also we got a bunch of things. We already got that? Okay. Alright. No idea. I see it's got systems upon some systems upon subsystems. Uh So like you can't pick one of the starting characters, so we own that one, and that's gonna be they don't let you buy it and mount to three hundred. So the cheapest they sell is two fifty. So you'd have to spend ten dollars to at least spend the three hundred. And then you have leftover. It's a common thing they do in free to play to try to get you to spend more. And free to play makes a lot of money, so like we're unlocking bunnies, so we'll be able to unlock her, but if people wanted to do it now. Some of the more expensive Expensive ones are ones you will get later in the game. But I don't think any of these are locked out of, like, you'll have to buy it as well. But there's also bundles with other things. Limited skins you can get as well. And some of these, yeah, you would have to spend $20 just for, like, a made outfit. Craziness and premium skin packages. They don't look... Nothing really catching my eye, you know, that great. And they sell individual pieces, too. Common skin packs. Makeup. A flower look. Cosmetic little flare things. They also sell you start packages for getting other things to level up. And then they sell these as well. So, XP up, gold boost up, and pretty much anything, they, they'll sell anything under the sun. Uh, which, if that turns you off, and I, I feel like it should, but, uh, but if you just play, go in and play to free to play, I think you will probably have a good time. And also, like, UI themes, I don't think they have anything for the shop yet, but I think they probably will. Uh, so that's a little weird. Alright, so let's go around for a little bit all this I know we're trying to find three iron hearts because there's the bogus I believe the dimensional wall is gonna come down just get to the point I must say graphically it's quite nice just how much do you plan to rely on that guide? You prefer to keep sending in the investigative core? How much time have we wasted searching for the Iron Hearts without any leads? Alpha, this is the best opportunity we've had in a century. Or it could be a trap. The descendants are Albion's only hope, and now it's like they have a parasite. HQ is faltering. I understand. After all, HQ shoulders the burden of protecting humanity. It is difficult for the fate of humanity to be placed into the hands of something only a few can see. A descendant? My purpose is the same as yours. Trust me. Do this, and you will retrieve the Iron Heart. Nice hair graphics as well. And I do appreciate it is trying with the story. I talked Alpha again. All right.
Can't use the hook in here for shenanigan reasons, I'm sure. Is there... Is there a workstation, though, to upgrade? You assume the game will tell you this, but it doesn't tell you a lot of things, so... What does this do? Prime hands. I think that's something we need to do. Mastery rank up. Okay, yes. See, at least that sometimes it will explain stuff, which is better than some of the other free-to-play ones. Okay, so my inventory is going to go up. Okay. Oh, it's a big production. I love it. Game, you're, you're kind of winning me over at times, I, I will admit. Okay, can we get uh, up any more? No. Now we're a little bit off of that one. Okay, yeah, we have a new sub quest as well. Oh, more stuff. All right. Let's check into our guns. We probably you get a lot of guns, and I probably already have a gun that's better than this as well. Uh, let's go by a rifle. That's 528. That's still 528. Okay. Then let's go by... Sniper rifle, maybe? No, we don't have it. We have a scout rifle, which is slightly different. 898. That's the best. How about shotguns? Oh, way better. Okay. And you get modules for these as well. And later on, I guess we can fuse these. Okay, yeah, it's quite a bit of stuff. Well, I do have modules for this. Max shield up 8. Defense 29. Max hit points up... Eh, I'm gonna go with shield, maybe. Nope, shield there. Okay, so now we got components. Maybe the game would've told me about this eventually. I don't know. Okay, so now we got a whole bunch of... Six would probably be six blue, not six. That's a blue. You're both blue. Okay, um. We'll get that as well. Upgrade a reactor. And you can get more slots. We get more equipment slots. Ah, uh, but then we need the currency. I see. Alright, but you can also get your mastery rank up, so we'll get that too. Roger it. We also have some modules. Oh, skill module. That's green. It's a module. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, there's there's a lot to that. Okay. Let's do the same thing. Let's just go talk to somebody now. Give us another mission. I'm not gonna give you my closing thoughts on this one so far. I mean, free to play, I am definitely more, I mean, more open and generous. I apologize for my temper. I should also apologize to you now. Voice acting pretty decent. Between our opinions regarding this operation may be too great. I did not authorize the investigation of the ancestors facility because I trust the guide. My intention was to prevent Another weird thing, the options, you cannot turn your microphone off. So I hope nobody was hearing me the entire time they were on the tape. I just... You cannot turn your microphone off. You can turn off other people getting voice chat, but you cannot turn yourself off, it seems. I could be wrong on that one. They 
we should be able to track down the location option of the menu is a little wacky the date is being held. as for the guide let's continue that discussion after this operation is concluded okay so we need vulgar state of materials that's what I wanted to do we need bunny spirit catalyst okay A bunny spirit catalyst. I think it's in this area. I just go this area. Check the map folder, data transmission. Yes. Okay. Let's go that one next. Oh. We're heading to B. All right. There's a thing over there. I have no idea. Okay, he's hacking. Serious now, we're getting real. All right. Oh, got it. Level eight. Yeah, one. All right. So this is the thing we need to get the other character, Bunny. So I'm gonna just head up and... Yeah, it's a fun, kindless, mindless, mindless looter shooter. Uh, but... Yeah, I gotta do find myself warming to it. Didn't we just do that one? I think so. There should be a Volga data transmitter nearby. If you can get near to it, I can hack into it remotely and collect the data. I thought that was the one, but I don't think that is. All right. I believe we can do this mission solo. We'll see. Oh. Yeah, there's server hiccup every once in a while. There we go. I actually hit that guy. Uh.
Oh, that's not good. Uh, might have bitten more than I could chew. Which guns? Oh god, run away. We'll get some health. Okay, now I gotta get to B. Alright. First time in the game I've actually ran out of bullets. Okay, alright. Act this again. I think it repeat these, you know, get a diminishing returns on XP at some point. I got some ice legs for a little bit, which is nice. Lovely. Alright, we got more stuff. I'll send the details to Bunny. Thankfully, since they damaged the network infrastructure, transmission speeds have been extremely slow. That came back to bite them. That's not what we're looking for, actually. Oh, it's 20%. Is that it? That one's 20% chance to get that. Okay. Am I getting shot while I'm... Oh, all right. Maybe don't look at the, the missions on the war zone. Oh, gun, gun. I think it does send any loot you miss you do get. Like guns, other things. Let's go into your inbox. Yeah, we got a little bit of freedom. Just want to kind of see that out, but... So yeah, it goes in various zones, probably on different planets, etc. Unenhanced cells. don't see that as well, but... All right, ladies I mean, yeah, I think you do get the point of this one. Ah, uh, yeah, it's... It's okay. It's nice. Uh, I don't mind it. Uh... Definitely sink some time in. So, I mean, they do have a way to pay. You all know, like to pay to get ahead very quickly. Uh, but it does look like you can also grind it out. I don't have to, just to comment on that yet, yet, because I haven't really played a ton. How grindy it will get later on. That's usually the trick is they want to get it where it's grindy enough at the end that you just want to pay to progress a little faster. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will leave a link in the video description on Steam. If you do want to check it out, it is free to play. Uh, running decently right now, I will say, which I think is a good improvement. All right, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.